Hey there, this is Scott with Jen and Scott Investigate. Figured I'd put together a quick video of showing you how to use the boo tube. So let's get started, shall we? So you basically got two units. You've got the Android unit and then the um, speaker unit. So what we're going to start with is um, go ahead and basically just quick. Both of them have charging ports. They use the same cable. That's where you charge that one. And on the back there is where you charge this one. So make sure you charge them up first. You can power the unit on. Push the button on the side where my thumb is there. So power it on. Give it a second to boot up. Okay, so it's booting up now. So that unit's booted up. There are three buttons on the top of, of the other unit. Uh, the middle one is the power button. The other two are volume controls, which um, the Android unit actually controls the volume, so you shouldn't have to deal with that too much. But if you do, there's a, a lower volume and a higher volume there. So push this button here. You'll hear it'll come on. Power on. Bluetooth mode. Connected. Okay, so it's connected at this point. So let's see here. Let's go ahead. And I'm gonna set this phone down for a second here. Sorry. So, there we go. So now we've got the unit running there. Let's turn volume down a little bit. So there we go. So first thing we'll uh, demo here is the Ghostbox app. I've got two of them on here. We'll go through both of them. So this is the first one. And what you've got here um, is multiple banks, four different banks of um, channels or voices. Um, feel free to experiment with all those. I usually use two. Um, I know people, would, it's really kind of mileage varies, so it's uh, for choice. Scan right here, so if you're familiar with the ghost box, this is kind of the scan rate. Um, there's a mic volume that, I don't mess around with that too much, that's for an external mic, which this really isn't set up for. But, um, so if we go ahead and turn these on, say we turn voice one on. Yeah. Dad. Hello, is anyone here with us? Hey. Right. So then, yeah. again, if you're familiar with the ghost box, there are different effects you can add. You can add reverb and things like that. Um, so yeah, reverb. I'm going to kind of play some of this. I don't mess around too much with the effects, but I know some some people get better results with the different effects, so feel free to, to play around with that. Um, usually what I do is um, these have a, a, a video feedback loop interface, which is on this visual tab here. If you hit start, and this simulates a, a visual loop feedback. So for those of you that maybe aren't familiar with um, what that is, in the parlance of paranormal research, it's the idea that you can send a signal through a video camera, broadcast it on a TV, then record that signal with the video camera, creating a loop, and that the entities can potentially manipulate what they see on the screen. So instead of uh, manipulating audio, they're also manipulating video. So this, this simulates that. And it's kind of cool to have a visual representation. So again, if you're familiar with an Android um, phone or an Android tablet, same behavior. So I'm going to turn this guy off here. And then, oh, that looks like I had them all on at one point. So then we're going to go to the next ghost box. This is a cultus, Coulter box. Cultus box, sorry. Same concept. You've got multiple voices. You can adjust... Uh, how quickly they they come through different channels and things like that so if you have so again in the concept of a ghost box where you would be doing with a, a radio broadcast this would be how quickly it's it's moving through the dials these these um, adjustments so you can make them extremely um, so let me turn all these off and just leave that one on it's a really long delay it's very slow scan. 
but you see there it's a lot faster. So towards the top it's faster and then you can add different channels. And then we've got, if you're familiar with an Ovilus, they've showed this on some of the, the Ghost Hunter shows. I think um, Zach Bagans in Ghost Hunters, or, uh, Ghost Adventures actually uses this one a lot. So this is a device that basically um, picks up different environmental var variables and uh, creates words on the screen. So you can ask it questions and it kind of, the idea is that the spirits can manipulate environmental variables like EMF and things like that. So this will pop up. Click load app. We'll talk here in a minute. ITC Legion Perilous loaded. And then it's scanning. Scanning. And has some different scan speeds. There's also this button here with this H. That's a history. So it will keep track of all the words that it um it, it brings up on the screen. So if you ever want to look back at it and see what that list was to com you know, do some comparisons, things like that. You've got that as a choice. This will take a little bit to build up. It's got to kind of detect different things. But you'll see there's like this little arrow and it'll move around. Informed. Okay, so right away it came up with informed. Yes, you're right. I am informing the customer. Okay, so that's that. Basically, you can let it sit here, move it around, um, and uh, It'll, it'll keep doing these words. So very similar, if, if you've ever heard of the Obelisk, this is the Perilous, so it's like the digital version of that. So we're gonna turn this off. Scanning stop. And go back to the main screen, get these two. And then we have Ghost Tools. Similar concept to the um, Perilous, only this doesn't speak, it just throws words up on the screen, but it's still, it's, it's reading environmental variables and, and different things like that. Um, we've used this a lot in our investigations and um, gotten some really cool results with it when we use it with other types of uh, other types of devices to kind of double double check our results. Um, so yeah right now it's getting uh, it's picking something up. So it just said hi. So and basically you can do the same things with this. There's different options. Um, as far as you can turn the volume off, things like that. Let's, let's see if it'll come up with another word here. Are you going to tell us something else? That was pretty quick. What else do you have for us? Well, maybe not. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and we'll close out this guy here. And then the last but not least is we have an audio recorder. So this audio recorder basically will record any audio it picks up. So you could potentially use it for EVP recording. But really the, the what I put this on there for was so you could have a record, a recording of what these apps say or, or what they do. Um, instead of having to have a separate recorder that you set next to it to record all the different audio. So literally you can come in here and you can say start and it will record everything that it hears. So it's hearing my voice. Um, we can go in and we can go to Dead Waves. Go back into this, run it. So, Hi, this is Scott. What's your name? Hello there. So what should happen then? Come out of this app here. We go back into the audio recorder. We hit stop. I'm sorry, just that. Yep. We say, oops, sorry. do we want to save it? Sure. And then now, if I go back in and play it, start, and it will record everything that it hears. So it's hearing my voice. Um, we can go in and we can go to Dead Waves. Go back into this. Hi, this is Scott. What's your name? So there, see, it's picked, it's picked up the whole session. 
So you can let that run in the background so it, it captures everything that you got. Um, so we're going to delete that. And that's pretty much the gist of it. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, we appreciate your purchase. And let us know if you have any questions. You can hit us up on the Jenna and Scott um, Facebook page or the BooTube user group. And again, thank you. Have a great day.